Welcome to Nurturing Faith. Today I am on the McNaughton Hall patio outside what is actually my three-year-old preschool class. And today's lesson comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 11 to 18. And here Jesus is explaining to the people how he, the way he cares for the people, the way he cares for us, the way God cares for us is like a shepherd tending to one's flock. So this is a staff and it has a hook on it. And this is a tool that a shepherd would use. Now, when we think about shepherds, or maybe if you think about some of you, some of our Sunday school lessons, it's always like the shepherds are watching over the sheep, right? They're watching the sheep. But it's a little more to being a shepherd than just watching the sheep. So if a sheep is hurt, the shepherd is the one that takes care of them, cleans out the wound, and if you need to put a bandage on it, the shepherd is the one that does that. Now, sheep have lots and lots of thick wool, probably a little bit like my hair, and it covers their bodies, right? So if they're wandering around looking for food, maybe they might get caught in a bush, and because their wool is so thick, they might have a little trouble getting out. Who is there to help them get out? The shepherd. That's why he has this hook that can help him catch the sheep, even if they should wander too far out into the water. The shepherd is there to bring them back in to safety, right? And because their wool is so thick and they're outdoors, you know, bugs will be biting. Like here, I could be standing here now and the mosquitoes are chasing me away. Well, then the shepherd will carefully look through all the wool and make sure that no ticks or anything are bothering the sheep. So you see, it's more than a shepherd sitting on a hill watching the sheep as they eat grass. The shepherd really cares for the sheep. And this is why Jesus was talking to everyone and comparing himself to being what he calls the good shepherd, the one that is looking after the flock the sheep and taking care of them with the proper tools. Now I know here in South Florida in this city where we live, we're not gonna see a lot of sheep out in the field taking care of them, right? So I wanna invite you to think about Jesus in another way. Yes, our story today, when you read it in the Bible, will talk about Jesus as being the good shepherd. But I know many of us can go out into our yards or if not in our yards, we can go where there's a container and we can have a garden. What I did with my class what made, is made what we call a terrarium. And inside this tank, we planted plants and we have water and we had tadpoles in there who were turning into frogs. And so we had to care for them and look out for them. So one of the things that my class and I after we got the plants and put in the soil and planted them all, is from time to time, we want to make sure that it's gotten enough water and things. So we have a little sprayer and we can just spray into the tank to make sure that the plants are nurtured and getting enough water, right? This is what a gardener does. A gardener takes care of the plants and ensures that there's enough water, that there's no insects that are bothering the plants. And since I am recording this video for you today on what is Earth Day, we have also plants that come in and I happen to have a milkweed plant here and it has a tiny, tiny baby little caterpillar that's going to be eating up all the leaves and then growing into a butterfly. And so I'm going to tend this plant and make sure it has water and make sure that nothing bothers the caterpillar while it's busy eating and growing 
so that it can be prepared to make its cocoon. So for everything, we have tools that we need to help us get the job done. And so for us as followers, for you, even though you may think you're too little, you're not. The tool that Jesus wants us to know that we have is love. We have love within us. We have the love of God. We have the love of Jesus and our parents. And so love is the tool that we are going to use to make sure that everyone we meet is cared for. Everyone that we meet has food to eat. Everyone that we meet has shelter, someone, someplace safe to stay. That's what it means when Jesus talks about being the good shepherd. You can think about that, my friends, how you could be gardeners tending to everything and that we always have the proper tools. The shepherd has a staff and the gardener has their garden tools to make sure that we are all feeling loved and cared for. So, may God bless you, may God bless you, keep you safe, keep you safe. May God's love surround you, may God's love surround you every day, every day. Go in peace, my friends, and remember, God loves you.